boys and girls, welcome to another beautiful moment in God's presence. Trust we had a wonderful week. Mine was awesome. It was fun field, activity all the way, and I'm very sure you've all settled in school. Today we are going to look at another interesting topic as we still continue our series in New Beginnings. And today we will look at the topic, let's go and let go. But before we continue, let's say our prayers and then we continue. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our friends, our family members, our school, our church. Thank you for everybody around us. Thank you, Lord, for always being there for us. We say, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. And as we continue today's service, O oh Lord, Father, help us to learn from you. Help us to listen to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Now, it's so beautiful to know that God loves us so, so much and is always there and available to help us all the way through every activity that we go through in life. But we have to let him take the center wheel. We have to let him take control over everything that we do in life. And so today, our topic just will just help us emphasize on how we should actually let God take the center stage of our lives and then make sure we do not make mistakes as we journey with him. Now, it's beautiful that we're all here again. But before we continue, let's join in praise and worship as we sing praises to God and also dance unto his holy name. Hi friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're having fun. Where are your dancing shoes? Put them on, let's praise God. Hallelujah. This song says we are the chosen generation and I want you to sing it from the depth of your heart. Are you ready? Come on now. We are the chosen generation. We are called for to show His excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are the chosen generation. Called for to show His excellence. All I require, all I require for life, God has given me. Cause I know who I am. I know who God says I am. Come on, where He says I am. Well, he says I'm at, I know who I am. Say, I know who God says I am. Come on, come on. Hey, we are the chosen generation. We are the chosen generation. Come on now. Called for to show his excellence. All I require. Let me hear you sing, let me hear you sing. I know who I am. We are the chosen generation. Hey, call for, call for to show his excellence. All I require, all I require for life, God has given me. I know. Let me hear you say, I know who God says I am. Come on now. Hey. Hey, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. Come on. Are you ready? Say, I'm walking in power and walking miracles. I live a life of favor because I know who I am. I'm walking in power, walking miracles. I live a life of favor because I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I walk in miracles, I live a life of favor, cause I know who I am. Oh, 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 I know who I am. Say, oh, 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 I know who I am. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. Say, it doesn't matter what you see now. 
You can see it, Lorraine. Cause I know who I am. Tell your neighbor, look at the person next to you. And make sure you are telling him. Are you ready now? One more time. We're gonna do that now. Take a look at me, say. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. Come on, it doesn't matter what you see now. Come on, you see he's the ray. I know who I am. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder, 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 wonder. Yeah, cause I know. Oh, 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 I know who I am. Oh, 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 I know. Oh, 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 I know who I am. Eh, o tu a kachi ne kai di a gidi ba eh. Hey, hey, hey. Let me see you like this, like this. Come on. I Come on. I Come on. Let me hear you say. Let me hear you say. Uh, let me see you like this. I I get the ba eh, oh tu a kachi ne ka idi eh eh eh, oh 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 ah, eh 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 eh, oh tu a kachi ne ka idi, I get the ba eh 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 eh, I get the ba eh, oh tu a kachi ne ka idi, I get the ba eh 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 eh, I get the ba eh, my Jesus save me. Hey boobie, hey boobie, DK. Hey my Jesus, hey boobie, hey boobie, hey boobie, DK. Say hey my Jesus, hey boobie, hey boobie, hey boobie, DK. Hey my Jesus, hey boobie, hey boobie, hey boobie, DK. Woo! Hope we all had a beautiful moment dancing and praising God. Yeah, sure, it was so, so impactful. Today, we continue with Let's Go and Let God. Our memory verse for today's topic will be taken from the book of Proverbs 16, verse 9. Let's go again. Proverbs 16, verse 9, which says, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. We go again. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Now, it is beautiful to plan. It is beautiful to design what your week will look like, what your month will look like, what your year will look like. It is good to write goals. It is good to um, have your new year resolutions. You know, it's January and then we want to have a perfect year. But we cannot do this alone except to put it in the hands of God. Now, we can all do every design we want to do. We can um, contact specialists in, in, in goals, in, in designing goals and all that. But we need to put all this in God's plans. Now, it is good to write out your plans in pencil so that God can easily come and then make one or two adjustments into our plans. Now, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows the beginning. He knows the end. Won't it be so wonderful to know that the person who is actually directing your path, who is actually helping you with every decision you make, every step you take, actually knows the beginning and the end. It's something wonderful. It means all through the year, you're going to have a very beautiful year. Look at the, life, like, look at the lives of David, the lives of Samuel, the lives of Moses. These were lives that were actually planned by God right from the beginning. And so all through the way, they were able to actually achieve what God had already planned for them because they did not move away from the plan. 
unlike Samson, who actually did not heed to instructions, we saw how his life ended. Even at the end, God still had mercy on him. But we can actually live our lives so perfect when we put every activity we do in God's hands. Now, um, the mem- our memory verse from um, Proverbs 16, 9 clearly explains why we should actually put all our plans in God's hands. But as we continue in the course of this class, we're also going to look at our Bible verse for today, our Bible text for today, which is taken from Isaiah 55, 8-9. to We'll quickly run through it, and then we see, we'll still discuss further. Isaiah 55, 8-9, to and then we read. Isaiah 55, 8-9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. We go through it again. Isaiah 55, 8-9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Now, this Bible text clearly explains how powerful God is and how important we should put our plans in God's hands. Now, God knows everything. God knows even before you were born. God had already mapped out how you're going to live your life. Now, he still gives us that free will to decide whatever thing we want to do. So we can still move out of God's plan if we want to, but I advise and I counsel that you move in accordance to God's plans because he already knows what's good for us and what's bad for us. Now, we, can, we may think we're so intelligent, we may think we're so smart, may be the best in our class, may be the best in everything we do, but God's ways are still best for us. You know, the Bible says, the wisdom of man is more like foolishness unto God, and then the holiness of man is more like filthy rags unto God. God knows it all. God is a perfect being. God is everything. So we need to put all our plans, we need to put all our activities, every dream we have, everything we need to, everything we need to give to this world, we need to put them in God's hands. And you see how we just move into it. Even when challenges come, it won't weigh us down because God will use every challenge to move us to a better, a better stage. We are not... We've not, we've not been created by ourselves. God created us all. And for God to have actually created us, it means he has already planned out how we should live our lives. And so with this, we need to put everything that we have, we need to commit all our lives, we need to commit all our goals, all our activities, all our achievements into God's hands so that he can actually chart our course for us. It's always beautiful to, to know that God is leading us all through in everything that we do. In all that we do, it is always beautiful to know that we've got God beside us, behind us, in front of in every aspect of our lives. And so it's always awesome when we put all this into God's hands. Let's have this, let's take this as an example. You know, sometimes um, maybe during during um during the end of the year. Uh, most families will always want to go on a vacation, go on a holiday somewhere just for them where they can just have fun and, uh, and then have beautiful, wonderful time together. And then you see your parents booking hotels, looking for um, venues where you can actually play, watch movies and all sorts. Now, even with all the plans, even with all these arrangements and all these um, um, getting experts to help you figure out where to go, what to do, and all that. Errors and mistakes still come up. You know, we still have obstacles once in a while. We still have um, whatever whatever thing we've planned down not working out. That's because we are humans. But if we put all this into God's hands, 
He gives us a perfect, a perfect um, 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 movement to everything we do. It is not. It is not. It is not something that is not achievable. You know, some some plans may be so so simple. Some plans we may think, oh, we don't need God in this. But no, as simple as it is, the devil may just want to just test or make mockery of what we've designed. But when God comes in into everything we do, even down to the food you eat every day, we need to put God first into every activity we do. And so where we are supposed to see obstacles, where we are supposed to see challenges or errors or mistakes, we see things working together in our favor. It's beautiful to know that God loves us so, so much and he, ha- and he has us always in his heart. And so if God can take out time to actually channel all his energy into loving you and making sure that you live a beautiful, wonderful life, we need to commit everything that we have into God's hands. And we see our life flourish every single day. As our take home for today, Let's remember and let's have it in our hearts that we need to put God first in everything that we do. We need to plan and at the same time, make sure God is taking the center stage in everything that we do. Our God is merciful. Our God is perfect. So when you put your things or your plans or your actions into God's hands, always expect a perfect result because you're putting it in the hands of a perfect God. So always let us not forget it is God first in everything that we do. Let us not let us not be too um, let us not to be too strict with ourselves. Let us not to be too confident in our ways, in our plans, in our actions. Let's hand them over to God and we see our life flourish for the best. Hope we've been blessed by today's message. I want us to commit everything this week into God's hands. I want us to live our lives as God directs us. I want us to just open our hearts unto God so that He can lead us into making beautiful, wonderful decisions. I want you to just go into the week and know and be confident that God is actually right there with you. This week, try and love everybody around you. Don't hold grudges against anybody. Put away your old self and put on this new self that you have in Christ. And let that trust in Christ lead you all the way. It's been a beautiful moment with you all. And I'm very sure we all had an exciting moment in God's presence. But before we go, let's pray and let's just commit this week into God's hands. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the opportunity to learn today. Thank you, Lord, because we know our week is blessed, our month is blessed, this year is blessed because we have handed over everything into your hands. Father, lead us correctly, lead us perfectly into a beautiful week. And let all the glory at the end of the day go back to you. We know we are not perfect. We know we are not straight. But in you is perfection. And that is why we hand over everything concerning our lives to you. Father, help us to be beautiful, wonderful children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.